a new tool is on the way. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, this is Omar Bafiki. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If not, welcome to this channel where I create game development tutorials and from time to time I upload my short films. So if you're interested, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Today I am so excited to finally share with you a, a script or a tool that I've been working on recently. You can say it's an editor extension to help you place your objects and the name already suggests that it's called object placer. How to get it? Well, you can get it from the asset store and it's for free, at least for now. So after you get it installed, um, to open the window, you go to window and then OB tools and then object placer or as a shortcut alt P and you will see this um, little window and you can just dock it on the side and uh, so let's get started with that in our first situation let's say we want to move this bucket so I would just move it around like that but what if I want it to be on a specific surface I would have to move it there slide it up and then rotate it if I had to and honestly it's time-consuming so um, to use the tool first thing select the object you want to move then make sure that you're in um, scene scene is selected not timeline and then simply click on place object so now you will see this um, blue gizmo and it just moving around the objects here so wherever I click it will move there if I click on that cube you will see that bucket is stick to the cube and if I place it on the sphere same thing it's cool but what if I want it to be rotated this way to face the sphere surface well don't worry there is an additional option which is look up so if I activate that look up and then place object you'll see even the gizmo is rotating now so now it's facing the direction of the surface if I try doing that again on the cube you will see that it's facing the direction of the faces or points of each surface. Um, but one thing you have to make sure is that all these surfaces, they must have a collider. So this is the first case for now. The second case is that if the pivot is in the center or middle of the object, or if the object is actually going through the surface um, let's see what I mean by that so if I click on place object and try to place it on the sphere you'll see that almost the half of the cube is inside to fix that we need an offset just to slightly pull it up on the y-axis locally so there is another option here called offset so if I enable that you'll see X Y and Z and two other options local and world Local will will do these adjustments um, locally, which means the y direction is going to be this way. Whereas if we choose world, it's going to be the world y, but we don't want that. We want it to move locally, and let's just move it 0.5 on the y axis. So if I try to place the object again, you will see that it's fixed now and uh, you can play around with the offset to have different results so that solves the problem for us let's just move it aside and now our last situation which is a timeline animation so if i select our timeline you will see that we have this police and if i select the idle animation you will see that the offset position and rotation are all set to zero and if I were to position him on the surface of the sphere, like I did with the buckets, I would still have to do it manually each time. And pull him up and then rotate. Well, it's fun, but it's going to be hectic if you got a lot of characters or you're moving them all the time. Well, we don't have to worry about that. We just switch to timeline, 
we need to make sure that we're selecting the animation clip and uh, we don't need offset so just place object and I can just place him on the sphere you might see nothing happened you will have to refresh the timeline to see the changes update so select the animation and just place him anywhere you want refresh the animation and you will see him standing on the wall that is almost the end of this video there is one more thing to show which is just an extra thing you can show the gizmo settings here if you want to change the color of it we can go with green and even you can change the opacity of it if I place object you will see it also you can change its size so that is it for this video I hope you like it and let me know what you think you've got questions just write them down in the comments and uh, yeah if you haven't subscribed and you would like to see more of these videos subscribe and activate the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded this is Omar Balfaki thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video bye bye